Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World, and coming soon. In this video, we're going to talk about what is coming this week, which is fantastic that we can actually do this with a little bit more guidance because we actually have a developer's roadmap. And we're going to talk about that in a second, too. Uh, so as you guys, you may be new to my channel, every single, I try to every week on Mondays, Monday evenings, I try to release a coming soon video, kind of talking about what we know will be coming in this um in this week in the update and this week is actually a pretty big update we have a version 7.4 full patch update happening tomorrow morning now i don't believe that there has been any news yet from epic games uh, i did check their twitter i didn't see any tweet of them saying hey the game is going to be going down at a certain time and actually I don't see anything over on in the game either. Usually like right down there we'll have a, you know, by the way the game is going down. At the time of me making this video, it's almost 9 p.m. So maybe the update might not be happening today. I don't know. I don't know. It's possible. It's possible the update will happen tomorrow morning. But more than likely it will. And of course the computer, the computer, <laughs> the game will go down for a couple of hours. And even if it doesn't happen this Tuesday or it doesn't happen Wednesday or Thursday, we're not going to be seeing any major changes until Wednesday. Because please remember, even though Battle Royale is on a certain time schedule and whenever there are, there's an update, all the stuff when the game comes back up, all the stuff is there for Battle Royale. We are a bit different in Save the World. We don't really see many changes until Wednesday evenings. So Wednesday evening at... 8 p.m. Eastern, I believe. 7 p.m. It's it's 7 now. I think it is. It's 7 p.m. Eastern now. Um, yeah, I think it's at 7 p.m. Eastern now. What happens is that we have both the weekly reset, the the shop reset, and we have anything that might be coming into play. For example, like the next Frost Night, and we're going to talk about that in a second. But let's jump into what the beautiful developer roadmap says now. And I will say this before I start. I really, really hope that we get more developer roadmaps in the future. I actually went back and took a look, and the last time we had a developer's roadmap was uh, November 11th. So from November 11th to February 9th, sorry, February, November 9th to February 9th, exactly three months, exactly three months later, we got an update. And that's actually kind of interesting to look at this one because it is the same as the other one. They just gave us uh, kind of like three bullet points here. So I kind of hope that that's not going to be the case this time around. I hope that we do see more developer roadmaps coming to us and more because they're fantastic. Developer roadmaps really help us to be able to see when events are, where they're going, um, kind of plan ahead a little bit. It really, really helps us out. So I hope that Epic really does continue to give them to us. So according to the developer's roadmap or according to the Save the World roadmap, because roadmap, that's what they're called now, I just realized they're called Save the World roadmaps. Hmm. All right. Uh, we have tomorrow or this week, we have in version 7.40, AFK Idol Improvement, Seasonal Gold Cap Removal, Yeoman Sniper Rifle, and Dragon Fist Returning. So I am going to talk about the Dragon's Fist and what's the other weapon? The Dragon Fist and the Dragon Fire. So I will be talking about those two weapons a little more extensively in another video uh, that I'm going to be releasing tomorrow, possibly. Uh, I don't really think I'm going to work on the weapons, although they do have some very interesting things that I had completely forgot about, their perks and everything. But I will we will go to my collection book because I have them both in my collection book already. We're going to take a look at them. We're going to talk about them. We're going to see if they're really worth working on or not. Um, or, you know, or even like if you want to get them, because again, tomorrow we don't know how the Dragon Fist is returning and we don't know how the Dragon Fire is returning. But I kind of feel like they may return as prizes in Frost Knight. Um, which, you know what? Let's start talking about Frost Knight. So Frost Knight, this one up here, the week six challenge. Frost Knight is not is going away this Wednesday. So if you haven't completed it, if you haven't gotten the weapon or the banner yet, highly recommend you go for it. You have till Wednesday to do that. But we don't have any notice there of any new Frost Knight event. Now, I don't believe they're going to make us go for a whole other week, an extra week uh, with the trap challenge, um, the trap attack, because that's what it's called. I don't think we're going to see it for a whole uh, an extra week. A. B. I don't think they're going to take away and not give us any Frost Knight. 
Although that would be interesting. Um, actually, if they were to do that, if they were to go like next week, be like, hey guys, by the way, there's no Frost Knight event this week, but if they were to give us a gold event, uh, either a mini cram session or a beta storms, either one would be fantastic. And it would be even more fantastic because of the fact that the gold cap is being removed. Now, I did go over my personal thoughts and feelings about the gold cap being removed in a previous video. I'll, I want to talk a little bit more about it again right now because I think it is something very important. And I will say this, I do believe that completely removing the gold cap is a mistake. Um, and we'll talk about it in a second. First of all, let's talk about the AFK idol improvement. So for a lot of us that have gone into save the world, I rarely play with random people, but sometimes I do. Sometimes I go in there and yes, I, I have said this and I have noticed it. And I know that a lot of other people have told me ever since all the different changes they've made, both no more, you know, not being able to taxi people, all the different changes and, and different things they've done in the game. It has definitely benefited a lot in a lot of people, you know, not carrying their weight in the mission. So AFKing apparently still is quite an issue. And yes, I have had that issue too, where I will go into a mission and I'm trying to do a mission, but people are just running around either farming or looking for, looking to do something else, looking for storm chests. Uh, for example, the other day I was trying to get some gold. So I was doing some quick, you know, encampment missions and to the people who were with me uh, and actually we, we scheduled up into several different ones. They were just looking for storm chests. And at the beginning, I was like, hey, are you looking for storm chests or doing the mission too? And for me, it was like, hey, you know, after you've done found the storm chest, do me a favor and help us out, you know, with the encampments, you know? Um, and thankfully they did help, but apparently AFK is still considered a big difficulty, a big problem, because what will happen is there is no way of kicking someone out if you go into a, a random match. So you may be stuck trying to defend the Atlas or complete the mission. And unfortunately, someone may just be hanging around waiting for the mission to go to, for example, get the gold from you, you know, get the gold from the mission without having to really do anything. Now. I do appreciate the fact that they are going to be addressing this. I would really like to see how the system works and if the system works too. And I know that all of these changes, like all of these extra changes, the hero, the seasonal cap removal, even though I don't agree with it, um, the AFK auto promos, whenever we see changes to the that, that side of the game, that mechanism side of the game, I, I feel very encouraged. I feel very encouraged because I definitely can see that they're trying to make the game. They're trying to fine tune the game. Now, there are parts of the game that I do feel need to be completely revamped or changed, just like they have decided that, like, for example, the UI, they decided that the UI change needed to be completely changed and revamped to make it more appealing and easier to navigate. And I have to agree to a certain point that yes, it does. Now it caused another big problem, which we don't see any address to it yet, which which is the research and which actually now that I remember, I got to go use up some research points, uh, which is the research and upgrade. The research and upgrade problem is still really, really big. And I really hope that that is something that they're going to be fixing very soon because it definitely needs to be addressed. It definitely needs to be addressed. The research and an upgrade problem. There's a lot of people out there who still don't have the research and upgrades and it's very important that right here these two are here upgrade and research they still don't have that in the game and that can be a big problem because at a certain point you, it kind of blocks you from can really fully appreciating the rest of the game so i really do hope that a they address that soon and b that they get to fixing it it's very very important but seeing all these changes the ui changes the afk changes even the chat and hopefully they continue working with the chat i know a lot of people the global chat i know a lot of people have been kind of like well we don't want that we want you to fix this we want you to fix that no i feel that that is very important because it does mean that they're continuing to find in fine tune the game which means that they do have plans to continue the game into the future and potentially bring the game to a free to play or a more accessible option for everyone else because as i said before it's a beautiful massive incredible game i really do hope that we see more of it you know we see more of it in the future but anyway so afk i got afk idol improvements are happening gold cap removal all right if you guys want to see my full like rant about that 
the uh, I'll leave a link at the at the below and at the end. Uh, you guys can go see it. It was my video talking about when actually the developer uh, the roadmap when the roadmap first came out. It's all there. You can see it. But I personally don't agree with this. I don't agree with them completely removing the gold cap because what's going to happen is it's going to create a very wide disparity. There's going to be people who are going to have just a little bit of time to play, barely getting stuff, you know, but like just grinding out as fast as they can um to get you know one or two things and then there's going to be a group of people who are going to have tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of gold now i kind of want to be one of those people i kind of want to start grinding a lot once they remove the gold cap so that i can get a lot of gold i i would love to have so much gold that for a while i don't even have to think about it. i don't have to think about the fact that you know what um i I, I would love to be like there's certain weeks when I wouldn't have to play much at all just have all this gold in reserve to buy but I do feel that this causes a problem because I feel that if they remove the gold cap they are going to realize really soon that it does cause a major disparity and they may change the shop as it is and I personally hope that they do not change it the one thing I would change about the shop is giving us more things to spend our daily coins on Please, that would be wonderful but apart from that I really feel like the shop works well you play you grind you get gold you can get awesome stuff in the in the event shop and truly it's amazing all the stuff that we get in the event and the weekly shop it's by far some of the best weapons and heroes in the game so I really 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 hope that they don't change that basic dynamic I hope they don't make it oh you have to also spend this and V bucks or you know just I, I would love if they just kept it pure gold you play you're able to get gold and then buy something awesome in the shop I hope that doesn't change but seeing this it makes me a little wary because I'm like I wonder what they're gonna be changing so I hope that that's not the case and I hope it just improves better and as I said before if anything I kind of wish they would have made it to 10,000 raising the cap to 10,000 would have been fantastic I think 10,000 would have been a really good number because you can save up 10,000 and 10,000 will buy you everything in the shop a new weapon in the shop for 1680 for 1680 gold and a new hero even a mythic hero so mythic hero in the event shop uh, a new weapon and the entire week thing that's 10,000 would cover all those three things so I feel like 10,000 would be a really really good cap to have but hopefully Hopefully they do change it, and if they change things for the future again, I hope they keep it somewhere like that. The next thing is the Yeoman Sniper Rifle. Yeoman Sniper Rifle. So, I do really like that, but I think that the reason why we're getting this, like we often get other things in this game, is because... Uh, let me take this down for a second because of Zenith uh, sub over there sub zero Zenith. So sub zero Zenith over there. He is definitely our newest outlander. He is uh, What's it called uh, sniper based? So of course Releasing a sniper weapon is really nice The fact that I've been working on him so much makes it very nice because I am definitely gonna be getting this right away to try it out And you never know it may become my new favorite sniper rifle and finally the dragon fist So let me show you guys the dragon fist really really quickly uh, Like I said, I will be talking about this a little bit more tomorrow if you guys want to talk about it I'll show you guys uh, so if we go over to the dragon weapons at the very bottom here We do have both the dragon fist and and the uh, dragon fire so like I said I'm gonna be talking about those two weapons I'll talk about them tomorrow uh, so we can kind of break them down and be like okay is it worth saving up is it worth getting the only thing that I would say is if you don't have them yet I would recommend if you do have the extra gold to go ahead oh but they might not even be through gold they might be to frost knight so if you have to get them or whichever way you have to get them I would kind of recommend to do it because you then can't put it in the collection book collection book equals more points and more levels more levels equals more rewards which there we do have some pretty interesting rewards right now look at that at 225 I have 70,000 hero experience coming my way very nice but anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. That's it for today. That is a coming soon video. Hopefully, we do get some sort of a tweet or something saying, hey, the game is going down at, I don't know, 4 a.m., 5, 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Or you never know. They may make this a, since it is a 7.4 and it is a very big patch update, we may not see any news the, until maybe that it, it's going to be on Thursday or something. They have done that in the past. But either way, we're going to be ready and prepared for it. 
Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. If you guys enjoy this video, if you enjoy what I do on my channel, please do me a huge favor. Have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you very much to everyone out there who is using my creator code. You guys are fantastic. You guys are wonderful. Don't forget there's a free game. Make sure to go pick it up. Um, and thank you guys. Thank you. All I can say is thank you. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for using my code. You guys are wonderful. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.